Hey, we'll move on now with a uh, rematch of a fascinating little battle. Craig Windsor, one in three last time. He's looked for a third straight win here. Rough, tough crowd pleaser who loves to get in the body shots. Up against Ben Dagani. Unhappy about the stoppage defeat last time. Has the height and reach advantage coming into the ring after a knockout win of his own. We can join this from the start. Here's the unbeaten, uh, raw, crowd-pleasing novice Craig Windsor. It's a rematch too with the uh, Iranian now based in Scotland, Ben Degani. He was overpowered in three, three months ago by Windsor, who's a good old-fashioned slugger and he brings the fans in, Glenn. Yeah, he looks strong, comes to fight and uh, the fans certainly like him. Right. Much taller man, Degani. He's got one win in three. But he complained bitterly about the stoppage last time. Said he only took four or five punches and he was okay. Body shots from Windsor. Well, the gun, he's coming off a win, so he may just have a bit more confidence going into this. Or have any sort of feel out process. I mean, they're straight down to it, but they know each other. Good uppercut there from Windsor. Decent punch against the taller man. Yeah, Degani just getting drawn into a fight. It'd be better for him to keep him on the end of that jab and then whip in the body shots as he was doing early in the round. Yeah, sure, the key is to back up Windsor, stop him in his tracks, push him away. There's a cut by the left eye of Windsor. This could get bloody and bruising. It's good at its level. Well, Degani has to use that jab when he's got that much height and reach advantage. You've got to use it. Whipping in the shots, and there's one to the body under the right elbow. The back comes Windsor with a harder one. Crowd like that. Yeah, the crowd enjoying it. It's good free punching stuff. Just stretching there, Degani. He's thrown a great deal. In the opener. But who edged it? Close. Here's the second entertaining little undercard fight for you in the middleweight division. Craig Windsor looking for his third straight win. He's just turned 27, and the 22 year old Ben Degani, who was a Farah Amateur back in Iran and has had a um, well mixed start to his pro career. Might fancy this, but he didn't fancy that left hook much. Yeah, just got to be careful. He doesn't just walk under a punch, Degani. He's obviously dangerous with these short hoops wins and lands with a beautiful right hand. And that's the thing, as he comes in, doubling the effect. Whipping in the body shots now, Craig Windsor. And the defences of the pair of them being scattered. Well, the Ghani is not listening to Billy Nelson in the corner who said the right thing. Keep it long, keep it straight, double the jab up through the right hand. Perfect advice. I don't think these two are after jabs much, Glenn. No. I think there's, uh, he wants to, to get one back, doesn't he, the Ghani? Didn't like to lose first time around. I think there's a bit of pride at stake. Free wheeling wild affair. Referee Paul Graham's had to do absolutely nothing. He's just letting them get down to it. There's a right hand and there's the body shots again. And Windsor felt those. This is better from Dagani again. Yeah, he looks good when he, he stays busy and lets the shots go, Dagani. That confuses Windsor. He looks like he's in good shape as well, Glenn. And even in a four-rounder, it could come down to stamina in a strange way because they've put so much into it. Yeah, and Windsor might have just taken this a little bit lightly, getting the, the stoppage win in their first meeting. 
Well, he's having to work a bit harder in this one. Oh, that's a good shot, though. It's the upright physique of Dagani. And a left hand, and here comes Windsor. There's the left hook, and suddenly the fight is turned on its head. And it's Craig Windsor back in charge. Well, that was going to happen. Diani just playing into Windsor's hands. Oh, big thunderous shots going in. Diani got one back in there, but Windsor trying to overpower him like he did last time. He's marked up by the uh, right eye now, Diani. Yeah, that eye swelling up quite badly. But a big round for Windsor. Have a thoroughly entertaining, lively affair. Pretty agricultural. Both men swinging and landing at times. Craig Windsor in the black and the blue of Fendagani. This is the round that Windsor caught up with Dagani in March. Can he do it again? Well, unless he listens to Billy Nelson, Windsor is going to do it again. Because he's making it very hard for himself, Dagani. Trying to get involved in a fight, and that just suits Windsor. He's just a stocky, break, break, break. strong man, Craig Windsor. <laughs> yeah, there's no finesse leading with right hooks, but you know, at this level, he can get away with it. And Dagani getting involved. And again. Should he be just trying to box him and back Windsor up like that? But then Dagani gets too close. Instead of just keeping the center of the ring, keeping Windsor at arm's length on the end of that jab, he rushes in and walks onto a shot. Too open defensively, Dagani, and he's stung by that one. And maybe he'll fall apart again in the same session as he did last time. He's trying to fight fire with fire. The brave Dagani. But I think Billy Nelson will go absolutely mad at him if he throws this away. Well, he had the tactics in the first round. He's neglected that. Just elected to have a fight. Entertaining stuff, but he's getting caught with punches. Ben Dagani. And these uppercuts are eye catching. And poor Graham having a close look. Less than a minute left, and he's done it again in the third round. Craig Windsor, it is repeat exactly over Ben Dagani and Billy Nelson. I think is absolutely fuming at his charge. Who, after a good first round, got involved. It was great for the fans, but he threw that away. Yeah, he really did. Um... But he's very happy. Craig wins up with the tactics that Ben Degani adopted him, suited him down to the ground. He threw the punches. He picked his pace up in the, the third round, and he got the result in a good stoppage. A raw, wild affair. But wasn't it fun to watch, Glenn? Yeah, very entertaining. Some good work. There, he's just walking in the punches, Degani. Instead of giving himself a little bit of room or backing off using that jab, he just walked straight forward and was open to the uppercuts and the big hooks from Craig Windsor. There, beautiful right uppercut, still trying to come forward. Degani walking on the punches, and the referee jumped in at the right time for me. Craig Windsor, a little slugger, a lot of fun to watch, Jim. Yeah, well, I don't know how far uh, he's going to go or, or how long he's going to last, but he's going to sell some tickets and he's going to give us some excitement. That was a real gunfight there. I think Degani had been stopped before he took some personal feelings into the ring. You know, he wanted to wipe the slate clean, made the same mistakes he made last time and the same result, unfortunately, for him. But he does the uh, the double. Congratulations to uh, Craig Windsor. A fiery battle between two Scotsmen.